monster forms inside us. And you think to be idle. I knew your kind to be fragile, but I didn't foresee the severity. Be quick about your rest. We must locate a crash. A thick-headed notion in a complex circumstance. Do you suppose the parasites inside us dare to rest? That the Geich do not still pursue us with each peal of the bell? Take your rest. I will stand watch. Should a single tentacle split your skull, I will not hesitate to end you. Hmm, what was that?
hell were you two talking about? You and that Gith Yankee. I see. I'd be careful with Lazel. She's not of this world. I'd be surprised if our interests remained aligned. Let's hope we rapidly find a healer. You seem reliable. I think you know how important it is that we find someone who can cure us. Best if we focus on that. We did just talk about it. Let's rest. That might be worth a look. What's going on with that room? Looks unsafe. You approach the sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically, as if malfunctioning. It looks slightly dangerous. Just your average traveler stuck between realms. Pull me out, and we'll get properly introduced. Hello. I'm Gale of Waterdeep. Apologies. I'm usually better at this. A bit shocked, but friend, it's a relief and a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Say, but I know you, don't I? In a manner of speaking. You were on the Norse Lloyd as well. I don't know what transpired exactly, but the ship broke into pieces and I suddenly found myself in freefall. As I was plummeting to certain death, I spied a glimmer. 
quite near where I estimated my body to impact with less than savory propulsion. Recognizing this glimmer to be magical in nature, I reached out to it with a weaving of words and found myself on the other side, as it were. How about you? How did you survive the fall? I quite agree. But I have the unfortunate suspicion your survival is still very much in jeopardy. Back on the ship, you too were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome insertion in the ocular region. Were you not? No use sugarcoating it, is there? The insertee we speak of, this parasite? Are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it will turn us into mind flayers? It's a process known as ceramorphosis, and let me assure you, it is to be avoided. You don't happen to be a cleric by any chance, do you? A doctor? Surgeon? Uncannily adroit with a knitting needle? You seem to know enough about our condition to realize it's beyond most clerics' skills. Most, no doubt. But I find myself hoping to be in the presence of the few. You don't happen to be one of them. As we've established, few enough can. It's not exactly a common affliction. We're most certainly going to need a healer, and soon, too. How about we lend each other a helping hand once more and look for a healer together? Oh, I see you're traveling with plenty of company already. Perhaps I can join you later instead. I'll make my way to your camp and embark upon a succulent slow cook to be consumed upon your return. Gate. Nobody gets in! Zevlor's orders! That pack of goblins will be on us any second! What's going on? Goblins are on our tail! Open the gate, Zevlor, now! You let goblins here? Where is the druid? Please! There's no time! The nine hells! Open the gates! the blade and suffer its sting. Thank <laughs> you. 
make way. These boots have seen everything. be on my way. That was the last of them. Inside! All of you! More may follow! Open the gate! Done. Good. Death. A brazen attack for such lovely creatures. They must have been seeking something. Or someone. I've heard you can't get blood from a stone, but apparently you can get a wizard from one.
crisis after another. Not reaction. Children here, you fool! We was running for our lives. You led them straight to us, and you let them take the druid too? Unbelievable! Tell that to the dead at the gate. Shut it, horns! I'd be lying dead next to the goblins if you'd stalled any longer. My duty is to this camp. Oh, God forbid you risk your precious tale. But I shouldn't be surprised. Foulbloods ain't known for courage. You see the tiefling's jaw clench. He's about to erupt. Goblins have found us. No doubt the beasts will be back. We need to pack up and leave. Immediately! Though, be careful you don't for once. Now that that's Think settled, we can get to finding a healer. Thick as I thought. You acted quickly. I'm just sorry I didn't get there first. Thank you for your help out there. I'm Zevlor. Well met. I should warn you, visitors are no longer welcome in this grove. Whatever your business, I'd see to it quickly. The druids are forcing everyone out. This attack will only strengthen their resolve. There have been several attacks by different monsters. The druids blame us outsiders for drawing them here. Nobody's welcome anymore. They've started a ritual to cut the grove off from the world outside. We can't stay, but we'll be slaughtered if we leave. We're no fighters.
I've tried. Corga, their new first druid, won't even see me. You, though? I know it's not your business, but she owes you for saving this place. Perhaps you could persuade her for more time to prepare, if nothing else. Really? We're messengers now. We'd owe you a great debt. If we're forced to leave now, we won't make it to the city. You'll find the druids at the heart of the grove. Please, make them see sense before more lives are lost. Refugees, adventurers, no one in years, and suddenly we're overwhelmed. Well met, and thank you for beating back those goblins. Most brave of you. Is there anything you need? Act fast if you do. The ritual will be complete before too long. I know it's drastic, but more monsters seem to terrorize this region every day. We druids will be safe. As for those that took refuge here, well... May Sylvanus guard them as they continue their travels. As I said, it's a drastic measure. But the survival of the Grove is paramount. There just aren't enough supplies to support everyone. I pray no goblin arrow has grazed you. Nettie could put you to rights. She should be with the others in the inner chambers. But I doubt she'll be taking on new patients. The grove will be locked down soon. Just some bits and bobs I no longer need.
Sylvanas, guide your path. Keep your distance, darling. Action, not reaction. We don't even know these people! That doesn't matter! Of course it does! You would choose strangers over us! That's not what I said! I've got a long road ahead. Can we stop shouting? No? We can't just leave. They're kin. I'll not gamble our lives, our futures, on people who are as good as dead. We must leave for Baldur's Gate at once. Can we all just take a moment, please? What's the point in blades and spells if we don't bloody use them? We should stay. These people aren't fighters. We can help. Or yell louder. That's fine too. Thank you. It's the right thing to do, and you know it. She's right, Roland. We're better than this. Zergen. Fine, I'll stay too. Lest you both end up with your throat slit by Goblin Blade. Thank you, Roland. We should have left by now. Damnish! Instead, we're just sitting here, practically begging to be attacked. Staying is a mistake. You don't understand. My apprenticeship with Laroa can begin shortly. I cannot be late. Yes, that Laroa can. The greatest wizard in Baldur's Gate. His name is known far and wide, I see. Few can match him in terms of raw power and talent. Until now, that is. In years to come, you will boast of this meeting, I can assure you. May we meet again in Baldur's Gate, my friend. Children! Oh, uh, right. Uh for the heart. Go on. Give me a best shot. <laughs> Not bad. Again. <sighs> I can't do it. I'm not like you. Umi, I don't need you to be like me. You just have to buy enough time to run. Come on. I believe in you. You can do this. Hmm. You're on the right path, Umi. Go on now. Practice what you've learned. Well met. The Blade of Frontiers at your... Sh the man's smile bends downward, and his thoughts become yours. You are the Blade of Frontiers racing through the wastes of Avernus. Just ahead, a diabolical figure, red skin, single curled horn, blazes with flame, bloodied great axe held high. <sighs> Hell's great fires. You are on the ship.
You saw her then. Advocatus Diaboli. Her name is Karlak. An archdevil soldier I swore on my good eye to kill. I tracked her through the hells to the Mind Flayer ship, but the damned Elithids infected me before I could end her. She's out there now, preying on the innocent. I don't kill her. She'll leave behind nothing but a trail of corpses. I'd be a fool if it didn't. I know the stories. Doomed to shed my skin, become a lithid, and there's no coming back. But I haven't sprouted any tentacles. Least not yet, thank Balderin. Could just be good luck. But sooner or later, it's bound to run out. An excellent suggestion, but your party's full up. Still, when the time comes, call for the blade. I won't be long to answer. A splendid plan. We'll talk more there. Swing and swing and parry. No. Ah. Hold out your hand, mister. Let me show you something. Go on. Take this ring. It's lucky. You haven't seen anything yet, mister. Go on, take the ring and watch your fortune change. Maybe you don't need extra luck, but since you're already holding the thing, call it, heads or tails. Heads it is. See, that's the kind of luck you get from one of my lucky rings. I've got more where that came from, real cheat too. Interested? Okay, fair. Let's go again. Heads or tails, call it. Heads! There. Happy? You got it. One sec. That's what I got. Nothing. You suddenly feel something moving against your back and turn. <sighs> you notice she's trembling. The tears streaming down her cheeks are indeed real. <laughs> I can't do this anymore, Mattis. I'm sorry. Please, last room. It is... Let my daughter go right now! She's a thief, Hellspawn. And you will wait for Corga's judgment. Now get back! Oh, let me through, Mragrasham, or I'll rip your damn throat out! <gasps> Come, 
Magrin. Give him a chance. You, get back! It's forbidden to outsiders. Korga's orders. No, and you'll find trouble all the same unless you get out of my sight. A moment, Giona. What? Oh, I understand. You. Apparently Korga wants to see you. Go ahead. Sorry. This is madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. Girl. You mean parasite. She eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Teela is restless. Come, Koga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it. I hear the Tree Father's spirit in your words. It is as you say. Sifisif, Tila to me. Out, thief. My grace has its limits. It hurts. Thank you, Korga. Master Halsin. Halsin isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Tila pierce it. I know that look. You're wondering why I was in pain before. Let's just clear the air about that now. It's just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Nothing to be concerned about. It's nothing to do with the tadpoles, at least, in case your imagination is in danger of getting away from you. It's just something I have to live with. Positive. You can trust me on that. Quite a lot, if I'm being honest. But it always passes quickly, so I can manage. There's no story. None that you're entitled to hear, anyway. Just forget you ever saw it. We've been through quite a lot, with likely more to come. Care to narrow it down a little? Must I? Thinking about it won't help. We know what to do, so let's do it. Find a way to rid ourselves of these things. I'm not too hopeful that a gith crash will actually prove our salvation, but worth keeping in mind. I suppose we'd go our separate ways. Not a slight on your company, of course. Home. Baldur's Gate. There's someone waiting for me there. Someone I have to reach. As soon as possible. 